it looks like we got stood up by an ex-gang member. When I was 10, when I was 20. So it's uh -huh. not that long ago. There are gang wars still happening, and he's like, this is the location of the one. We're like 10 feet from it. All right, guys, so currently I'm waiting outside while Patricia grabs some coffee before we go to our tour this morning. Still in Casco Viejo because that's where we're staying, and it's kind of fun to just say where we don't have to uber and go anywhere so we're actually doing a walking tour of casco viejo a little bit of backstory basically casco viejo used to be completely controlled by gangs and now it's not obviously there's super nice hotels and uh, really nice restaurants but we're actually getting a tour by an ex-gang member so that should be pretty cool see you guys then hey guys so we are in the lobby of the american trade hotel where we are meant to meet our ex-gang leader for a walking tour of Casco Viejo and it looks like we got stood up by an ex-gang member. I don't know what's going on. We were here a few minutes early. Our tour was supposed to start at 10. It's 10.33 and the only way to book this tour is through the company who runs it. Like you have to WhatsApp them or email them and I've been WhatsApping him all morning. Just uh, nothing. So it would be a really cool experience to see an ex-gang member's perspective of Casco Viejo and get the truth behind all these repainted colorful pastel colonial buildings. But we will see. We'll see if he he messages me back in like the next two minutes because otherwise we're leaving. Exactly. Ship that just came out of the canal. Giant. Big boy ship. So we decided today that we're not going to take an Uber down to the Panama Canal because the visitor center is closed for the next two years for remodeling and it costs $20 each to get in. It's about a 20 minute drive. And once we got there, we just do the canal and turn around. We can see the big cargo ships coming in and out from here. Since we're not engineer fanatics, we decided, yeah, we're not gonna go see the canal up close. Remnants of when this place was a gang stronghold, I'm assuming. And on this side, everything is super nice. Skinny! <laughs> hey guys, it's a few hours later. Our little mishap from this morning was resolved. Ooh, it's so foggy and humid here. But anyways, yeah, the 10 a.m. tour ended up being just a regular tour of the city. Apparently no one wants to do the ex-gang member tour anymore. But we do. So, <laughs> oh, we do. So we're going down to meet our tour guide right now, again at the American Trade Hotel, and we'll let you know if it's worth it, or you'll see. So let's go. Cool. In Panama or in Panama City? Okay. Then they moved to the high rises. United States started the canal. Way before that, the gold rush, they removed the wall. So always behind the wall was poor, middle class. It's always that. Yeah. The, the gang owned the uh -huh. house. Wow. Uh -huh. There was three generations. Wow. There was three generations that, that controlled this building. Um, when I was 10, when I was 20, also, and you know, so I saw the 20s. Yeah, so that's uh -huh. not that long ago. That, no, that isn't. The LSP, it was probably... This one is controlled by the hand of God? City of God. City like of God. One in Brazil. Okay. And now, Santa Ana here. And after here, now we're going to Chorrillo. Chorrillo. So what Chorrillo is? Accidental fires. That was here. And we're ending the vlog now, it's probably short because we did go on that ex-gang member led tour. I think it's a really cool idea and it's a way for ex-gang members, prisoners to be reformed into society and a lot of Casco Viejo has been gentrified and it doesn't look the same as it did just probably a decade ago. However, it was too 
authentic. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate our guide telling us that this isn't a mainstream tour and you get an authentic look at Panama through a Panamanian perspective. We started walking outside of the main tourist area of Casco Viejo and that's fine and all. And I thought it was just like, we were gonna learn about the history of the gangs, but our guide was honest and he told us that there are gang wars still happening. And he's like, this is the location of the one. We're like 10 feet from it. Yeah, he's like, he's like, this house here is controlled by the city of God. And we're like, what? And he's like, yeah, they, they live on Street 6, and Street 6 is currently in war with Street 11. And last week, you know, I was taking some tourists out here, and uh, we saw a shooting right in front of us. And then uh, the other day, I was walking down, and there's like a 12-year-old kid with a 9mm and an extended mag. And we're like, dude. <laughs> Like, this is too much, man. Like Yeah, so sorry to our followers. We're not that really adventurous travel couple. We are pretty tame and we just didn't feel comfortable. So we ended up cutting it short and coming back. I'm grateful for the perspective and to hear his story a little bit, but it was active for sure. And we just called it a night. We had some traditional Panamanian food for dinner and that was really lovely. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you had a great day and we will see you tomorrow for another day in Panama. Did go on that X ganger. X ganger. <laughs>